Good evening, fifth graders. Tonight we're beginning unit nine. We're going to be working with coordinates and, and graphing ordered pairs. And if you're not sure what ordered pair is, I'm going to be teaching you that right now. First of all, you have to think of what does vertical mean, what does horizontal mean? Okay, I'm going to be using those terms quite a bit here. A horizontal line is a straight line. A vertical line is a straight line that goes up and down. Okay. Eventually, this horizontal line and this vertical line is going to make an X. Okay, or a plus sign, not an X. I apologize. Okay, they're going to cross, is what I mean. So we're going to be taking a look at these things. I have some things to keep in mind. So looking at this right here, my vertical line is right here. My horizontal line's right here. Okay, that's one thing to remember. I'm going to have numbers like this. When I have two numbers, it's a pair, ordered pair. The reason why it's called an ordered pair is there's um, the first number equals something, the second number equals something. They're an X and Y. The first numbers, number is always my X, the second number is always my Y. It's pretty simple to remember because if you're ever confused, just do your ABCs. X always comes before Y in the alphabet. So that's how we can remember this. Pretty simple. Another little idea with some pictures, got a taxi cab and I have a helicopter. Taxi cabs go on a horizontal road, okay? They go on a straight road right here. A taxi cab will drive here. A helicopter has, likes to fly, has a Y in it, go up and down. This is how I remembered it, nice easy way. Y, this makes a big Y, would be my Y axis, okay? The big straight line and the Y would be a vertical line. And then if that's my y-axis, I know the other line is my x. That's how I remember it, okay? So we're going to kind of go with that. Let's graph these things, and let's see if it makes anything. First of all, we have a 1 and a 2. So this is how you do it. You go over 1, and you go up 2. Boom. Almost done. Next one, 2, two comma 4. We go over 2, up 4. And then I want to connect these two. The next one, 4, 4. Go over 4, because that's my x, up 4. And connect those two. 3, 2. I'm going to go over 3 and up 2. I'm going to connect those two. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect these two again. As you can see, I have made a parallelogram. A lot of times we're plotting these things, you're going to be making a shape, and I'm going to be asking asking you what is the name of the shape you've made just keep in mind the first one is your x the second one is your y we have some more numbers here this isn't going to make a shape but we're just going to kind of plot them just for some extra practice so please follow along the first one we have four comma zero right so we go over four up zero that means it's right there on the line we go over zero up four. That's where this plot's at. Zero, zero is going to be right here in the corner, kids. <clears throat> the next one, we're going to go over five. Then it says to go up half. That's between zero and the one. Right there is where that half mark would be. The next one says over 1.25, 1.25, and up 4.75. So that's just less than five. That's where that plot would be. It's very easy if you just take your time. You have to really make sure you're looking at the reading the numbers correctly. You're going over first, and then you're going up. Over, up, over, up, okay? Keep that in mind. This is what I want you to do right now. Before you come to class tomorrow, I want you to take what I just taught you, and I want you to draw this turtle. I want you to take the coordinates are the or ordered pairs I'm going to give you on the next page, and I want you to come back with the completed turtle that's on your workbook, page 292. So here are your ordered pair coordinates. Do them in that order. Play dot to dot, dot to dot. It will work. The very first one is 812. As you can see, the very first one is 812. And your next line is going to be 911. So you're going to go over 9. Up 11. And then you connect those two. You're going to jump back. So I'm going to leave it on this page just for a second. You're going to have to press pause and go ahead and, and make your turtle. I look forward to seeing your turtles in class tomorrow. Hopefully this helped. If you're confused at all with what X and Y is, please refer back to the beginning of the video. Look forward to seeing you in class tomorrow.